So if everyone's in place, we'll go ahead and get started. First of all, Captain Jim Choi, CHOI, Sunnyvale Department of Public Safety, Public Information Officer, and Captain of Strategic Services. With me is Captain Ava Fanuki, our, our Captain in Charge of Investigations. So first of all, I want to apologize for the technical difficulties we were having on uploading the video by the Chief. Um, Chief No has submitted a video giving the most recent case update. It is now on Facebook. Unfortunately, we're having some problems with Twitter. So as of uh, yesterday, 6.40 p.m., we responded um, to a uh, major accident at El Camino and Sunnyville. We now know that that accident involved an intentional act by the driver of Isaiah Peoples, who is now under arrest and has been booked into Santa Clara County Jail. We are recommending eight counts of attempted murder based upon the evidence that we obtained from the scene. All evidence uh, obtained indicates that this was an intentional act, that the driver purposely sped up, uh, ran into the crosswalk, and purposely tried to hit the pedestrians. There were eight total victims, six of which ended up at the hospital. Our 13-year-old victim has the most major uh, injuries. She is a Sunnyville resident. She is listed, unfortunately, still in critical condition. Her current condition, as, uh, as far as improving all that, it is unknown, so we do ask the community members to keep her in your uh, thoughts and prayers. Uh, four of the other uh, victims have been uh, sustained moderate and major injuries, but are in stable condition. Two victims were treated on scene and released by paramedics. One victim was identified as a nine-year-old. He will be now our youngest victim in this case. However, it looks like his father was able to move him out of the way, but because of his proximity to this incident, he is being listed as a victim of, of attempted murder. So, At this time, um, you guys are aware, our Sunnyvale Investigations Unit conducted a search warrant at his residence on um, 1,000 block of Greco. 1,000 block of Greco, thank you. Um, the evidence obtained in that will be processed, will be evaluated. That will take um, some process, um, some time to process out. As of right now, there is no indication that the suspect people was involved in any or associated to any terrorist organization and that there is no indication that this act in itself was related to an act of terrorism. We do know that uh, people intentionally did try to run over the people. As far as his motive and the motivation for the act, we are still under um, confirming that with our investigation. There are search warrants in place for his um, residence or some of his property, and we'll see what the results are of that. Did you say why he did it? He did not say actually why he did it, um, so that's still under investigation. He is being cooperative, or uh, was cooperative when he was in our custody, um, so that is still, um, we're trying to validate everything that he said to see if this was in this, um, to rule out any acts of terrorism. So he did admit that he did it on purpose? He, he did indicate that this was an intentional act, yes. What kind of evidence do you have to have That I don't have the list yet. That is still being processed as we speak. Um, that search warrant was executed this morning. So it is a long process, so I do apologize for that. And why do you say it's not terrorism? There's no indication um, by evidence from what we have so far that there was any association to any kind of terrorist organization or any kind of statement that shows otherwise. However, as stated before, that the investigation is ongoing, so we will be validating evidence in those statements. Family, family members have talked about mental illness and PTSD. Is that, there any indication of that playing a role? So we did hear about that. Um, Thankfully, through you guys, that is being vetted out and being validated also. That is part of our investigation. We don't have any um, concrete evidence to that, um, to provide a statement to that. What was he like on scene? Was he saying anything? That was anything? So there was indication on scene by a witness that he did make a reference to thanking God. Um, no specific. I know there's uh, different things being said out there, but as far as we know, the witness has said that he made a, uh, after the incident, the crash, that he um, was thanking God for the incident. And, and that I have not heard directly, but, but something in that line, yes. I'm sorry, the witness himself said that? The witness is saying that, um, that that's what they heard um, the suspect say, the driver. I'm trying to confirm the status for each of the victims. You have the 13-year-old is critical, four yes. uh, uh, stable, two treated at the scene, that brings seven. Yeah, let me, um, and then there's the nine-year-old? Yes. Yeah, so let me give a summary of that, um, because it is a long list. There are eight victims. So the first uh, victim, 13 years old, she's a Sunnyvale resident. She is the uh, one that sustained the most injuries. Unfortunately, her condition is uh, still critical at this time. There is a 32-year-old female, um, also with major injuries, but she has been upgraded to stable condition. There's a 33-year-old male uh, with major injuries, 
and is also in stable condition. There is a 52-year-old male with major injuries also listed now in stable condition. A 42-year-old male who was treated and released from the um, uh, area hospital, so one patient has already, a uh, victim has been released. A nine-year-old boy who sustained minor injuries, and we're not sure at this time if that's from a direct result of the collision itself, but because, once again, of the proximity to the incident, he's being listed as a victim. There's a 24-year-old male who was treated and released uh, on scene by the paramedics, and a 15-year-old male who was treated and released on scene by the paramedics. Yes, sir. Can you tell us where he was coming from and where he was going to? Yes, yeah, so all evidence shows that he was traveling westbound on El Camino Real, um, towards Sunnyville Avenue. So if you go directionally, he was heading in the direction of towards Mountain View, um, obviously far further away. But um, as he approached uh, Sunnyville Avenue, he veered into the crosswalk. Um, there is reports that he may have accelerated and then um, unfortunately uh, decided to um, strike all the victims. Um, some of the victims were in the crosswalk. There were some that were at the sidewalk at the corner. Do you know the, where he was coming from? I do not have the information as to exactly where he was coming from or where he was headed to. Can you back up and talk about how he said that this was an intentional act? Uh, what, what exactly did he say? He meant to do it? This was not a mistake. Yeah, so I don't have the exact statement, but it sounds like from what he was, uh, well, what came about that this was an intentional act. There's evidence on scene that there was no attempt to um, break or stop the vehicle. There are no skid marks. Uh, people statement of that here, the vehicle accelerate. Uh, there was no movement of the vehicle from the driver of trying to, um, avoid the pedestrians. He continued in a straight path, hitting the eight, or hitting seven of the eight pedestrians, continued until um, he uh, struck a tree at a high speed. What is your military background? We hear that you served in uh, Iraq or Afghanistan for about a year and a half. Yeah, so that I do not have the confirmation. I know that the information is out there, but I'm only gonna be providing information that we have validated and confirmed. So I don't have that background, so I apologize. Is there any indication of his uh, emotions when all this was over? Did he express any remorse? Or so he did not express any remorse from what we can tell. Um, as far as being happy, that uh, was not told to me, but um, he, he was just as a, um, just uh, even keel, but no uh, no statements of remorse. Is there any indication that he worked for the federal government, correct? That is also being confirmed. I do not have the um, answer to that at this time, and I apologize. Any indication that he was on drugs or anything like that? So that is also going to be investigated. Um, a blood sample was obtained to be sent to the Santa Clara County Crime Lab, however, um, if that's a factor at now, uh, or a factor in this case, we don't know at this time. Was he Did he have a police record when he was arrested? He was coherent and he was able to answer. Did he have a police record at all? And, and that I don't haven't validated yet, so um, we're trying to confirm through all the records and all the aliases that are potentially related to him. Where is he being held? He is now at the Santa Clara County Jail, the main jail in San Jose. And arraignment, uh, any info on that? I do not have the arraignment date. Did he resist arrest? He did not resist arrest. In fact, uh, I think the report says that he looks like he was waiting for the police to arrive. Was there any kind of like, religious motivation or anything like that, given what he said on the scene? So that is what we're also looking at. Um, he did make that statement, as a witness stated, that this was uh, that he did um, thank God for this. Um, so it is a possibility. Okay, we're going to go ahead and go with one more question. He said, "Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus." Several times. Okay. I have a question regarding the victims. Were they family members? Were they traveling in a group? Yes. Can you give us a little insight on that? So we know that at least three of the victims, um, the nine-year-old, the 13-year-old, and the um, one of the adults were family. Two of the uh, other uh, victims were also related. I'm not sure if they were family, but related. Uh, and then the others seem to be random uh, as far as them not knowing each other. And they were crossing Sunnyvale Road? They were crossing Sunnyvale Avenue on El Camino Real. All so. from Sunnyvale? Um, there are two from Santa Clara and the rest are from Sunnyvale. We are not at this time like, identifying for due to privacy and also allowing them to recover um, the actual victims at this time. And any Asian victim? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Right. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.